Hello, in this session we're going to um, explore installing fonts um, for use with our graphics application, our video application and uh, any application that we can um, change the font with. Um, I did a Google search and I came up with this page and it's installing a font called Hack version 3 to use with a um, to use with the terminal so I thought hey, that's a good idea I uh, might do that uh, follow instructions and do that um, so as we know we can right click on the desktop and open a terminal now I work with terminals all the time so the font has to be right and has to uh, be uh, monospaced for the text so for example if I do df minus h I come up with the list of file system and the text is okay but it's a bit strange doesn't look quite clean enough so this guy he's talking about um, the hack font and it, it looks okay so why don't we try to install that and see if we can change the font for our terminal so he He doesn't tell us where to download it, so we will Google a download. But before we do that, um, let's see if it's already there. So he's saying in terminal go to preferences and uh, go to the font setting. So here we go preferences um, we have to profiles okay go to the one that we're using which is called unnamed and here you can see the text um, settings and here we are using monospace regular um, so if we tick custom font we should be able to change this font and in this list we see that there's a whole bunch of fonts that we might want to use but uh, not the hack regular so we know right at the start that it's not installed so we cancel that and uh, Google where we can find this hack hack version 2 or 3 uh, version 2 font okay that's looking very good already uh, designed for the screen and it's free so we just want to download it here we go download for Mac OS and Linux it's a zip file so we save the file because we want to follow this guy's instructions so he's saying make a local or dot local share fonts directory okay so let's do that it's happened that we have the terminal open here and we can copy and paste that text checking making sure that there's no other piece of text in between so 
if you're new to uh, the command line or Linux or any uh, command line operating system tilde means your home directory so um, at the moment home directory is home uh, followed by username okay so effectively tilde substitute is a substitution for slash home slash um, username for the user that you're typing in the command as so uh, so let me go to tilde which is cd tilde or uh, cd uh, would take you to home directory as well and if I do an ls minus la here you can see that um, it will list all files including dot files and the dot file that we just made if it didn't exist so the command line was make dear minus p minus p means if these intermediate locations do not exist make them uh, create the directory for them as well so if we ls we can see that um, it's created that directory and strangely enough it's put in uh, this this file so if I look this is we did it uh, roughly two minutes ago hmm it's interesting anyway um, he says to unzip the it's version 3 okay whatever version um, and copy all the TFT files over to that location so um, we downloaded it and it's in our download folder so if we go to our download folder we see that it's there and it's the version 3 which is good so he says unzip it and so we do and it's created our TFT directory and he says to move everything uh, star TFT yeah, which is everything really everything to um, the uh, this folder here we go so next thing he says to do is to refresh the cache the font cache with this command and looks all very good um, we don't even have to give permission to refresh the font cache we, we don't need to um, execute it as a sudo command and next to verify that it has installed and refresh we list the fonts and grep for hack and all the files installed which is fine so now we can go to our um, s terminal settings or preferences and go to fonts and change our font to the hack font so is it there there it is hack bold hack regular hack italic so we choose regular we select and uh, we exit and we enjoy the font 
except that it hasn't changed, has it? Because that looks like the original font. So what about if we close down the terminal and open it up again and list it again? So it's not. So I think it must not be this unnamed. profile that we're using surely it is okay so let's um, prove that it isn't and use for example an italic font because that would definitely change the way Oh yes, okay, there we go. So maybe so that has definitely changed. So was it my eyes that deceived me and report of no no change or did it change? and not look any different. So that's our clean font. And if we revert back to the whole font, which is Mono space, regular, yeah it did change, I saw it change down here, and they do look slightly different, not much though, not much, so, good, at least we know, um, that we can install fonts and use this use them as um, replacement for any other fonts we wish so what I like to do is install another one of my favorite fonts um, called um, Spaceman 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 font looks like this and I can download and use this font um, can I download it? there's a download button there so I'll save it and install it in the same way as the previous font there we go unzip spaceman and spaceman it's just got one file dft file so if I move that spaceman font to um, that famous directory that we created then effectively that's installed if we uh, refresh the cache and see if we can list if we can list the cache Where's the listing gone? Um, and use it. So the place that I would like to use Spaceman font is with the um, paint program.
So with the paint program, I'm going to create a new um, canvas, not that big, just a small one, uh, 600 by uh, 600 would do. And use the text tool uh, and type in hello. Now, hello is just sans serif at the moment. So if I change font now, uh, he says, I cannot change font. How do I change font? By deleting this and type it in type in spaceman. So first lesson is that uh, GIMP seems to have its own set of fonts. Either they're special GIMP fonts or certainly they're not true type fonts or that it doesn't search my local directory for my um, for the fonts, for any extra fonts. So I cannot find Spaceman in the list when I type Arial. I can. And what about Mono Space? Mono Space exists. How about our hack font? So hack font is not present. So it might be just the location that it um, ignores. So ba maybe I need to find out uh, how to install uh, uh, true type fonts for GIMP to be able to see them. So again, our favorite um, our, uh, Oracle, uh, Google will tell us install font for GIMP. There we go. So we've hit the first um, result and quickly scroll to see and immediately we find it talks about Windows, which is not good. So let's go back and put Linux. Here we go. So you go to forum. That's where we downloaded it from, the font. And it tells us to unzip it, extract it. And this is version 19.04, but well, it did not appear in game, no. So that's saying uh, there's a folder called TFT font, so maybe I just moved it into the wrong place. So if I go back and do a listing, and make directory, so version 2, apparently this is the fonts directory. So what version are we using? Let's go and have a look. Go to help. Oh yeah, two ten twenty is our version. So maybe it is 
this location. So if we list that location, there's no such, no such, no such. There is a dot config. At least, but dot config is general for all types of applications. So let's do that then. Let's make this directory. Remember, make dear minus p will make all the intermediate folders that are not there. And according to um, the instructions, we if we place all our fonts, so let's CP, which is copy all what's in our fonts directory to this new directory that we just created. Um, it should appear. Now we probably need to restart GIMP. So discard all changes, close it down, start it back up, file new how about um, a thousand by uh, two hundred. There we go. A bit more of a banner type uh, canvas size. So yeah, so if I uh, do that, I still can't find hack or space map. So let me go to file and let me go to edit and preferences and see if I can find any font settings on the folders system resources oh okay So back to our instructions. TFT goes into TFT fonts. Ah, okay. So we didn't do that part, maybe. So let's go back to our terminal and make a TFT. Sorry, TTF true type font folder and move all the true type fonts into that folder. So we actually only have um, true type fonts in there at the moment. So I'm going to move everything uh, to that folder. And I expected it to fail on itself because it can't move itself into itself. So it fails, which is fine. Um, so back to GIMP. Cancel there and still cannot find hack or spaceman, so let's restart. New thousand. By three hundred. Okay. Uh, text tool. No, nope. we still cannot see spaceman.
So Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording there and uh, find out what I need to do. I found some instructions that um, uses uh, a font manager to install and manage the font. So maybe if I use this, it will work better. Um, so I'm just going to install the font manager and then call it up and see if we can get it to appear in GIMP itself. So there it is installed uh, and I can just go here and say font there you go, font manager. So if I start that up, uh, apart from opening it on the wrong screen, uh, it does seem to work. Now the question is, uh, does it see my Spaceman font? Yes, it does. As you can see, so why can why can't uh, GIMP see it also? So um, to try open open type. User two, yeah. So certainly in user. So maybe I have to install it system wide before Kim can see it. So can I use this to install it system wide? Certainly not system wide. I'll search for it here. So um is it a matter of adding? So we know, can we add a zip file? Doesn't seem to complain. And it doesn't seem to do anything either. So um, let's try installing that again. Not with a zip file, but uh, with the actual files. So in my ooh, in my home directory, in this um, file manager explorer type thing, I cannot see dot. Um, dot directories so back to my terminal if I just unzip spaceman again I should be able to add spaceman in downloads So again, no complaints, but again, no search. What does manage do? What is this configuration thing? Well, that is burger bar. Nothing. But anyway. How about restarting? Um,
Okay, so the next thing is to find out where the system fonts are, are located. So I found some fonts in the system and at this location user share fonts and under a subfolder called true type there are some fonts installed there so what I'm going to do is uh, use sudo to create a directory under this location called spaceman and I'm going to copy sudo copy spaceman not zip spaceman true type to that location okay so then now if I sudo um, font refresh font cache refresh and I do a font list great for spaceman it's there okay so now if I go to GIMP and search it's still not appearing so let's restart new one thousand by three hundred okay go to font Choose spaceman. No, nope. oh, there it is at the bottom. Oh, so it appears and then disappears, as you can see. That's a bit weird. Maybe that's why. You can never see it, but it appears at the bottom. So now, if I type, there we go. It appears. So something strange again. Linux is not perfect. Very glitchy, but uh, we've got our font installed. So we had to install it in the system. As you can see, I'm trying to call up hack, and hack is certainly not there because we haven't done it for hack. So if I um, save that. and unzip hack and copy sudo copy everything in there to uh, uh, to use a share true type and a hack remember we we don't have a hack directory 
at the moment, so why don't we move hack uh, TFT T T F to that location, renaming it hack. So effectively, that is that's that's what this command line does. So now we do have a hack directory. You can see. Uh, but it's owned by me. So if I change it, if I change the ownership to root, sudo change owner to root dot root of that directory. But if I give it a minus capital R as a switch, it would do it recursively. So all the files in there will change also. So I execute that and I do the listing again. And now all the files are owned by root instead of previously owned by me. Okay, so that's what that involves. So now because we've closed down GIMP, we can start it up again. Oh, uh, did we need to do a refresh again? So let's try and confirm that whether we need to do a refresh or not. So if I open my document again, I go up here and I type in hack. There it is, it appears. So I don't need to do a font cache refresh or listing. I can do that and I can type in blue sass hack font. I've got no idea why it starts there with a tab or be because I tabbed. Okay. Here we go. So that just shows how you can create fonts install fonts, download fonts, install fonts, and um, use the type tool to put the font on a canvas. So it is blue, but uh, we can have an alternative color. Uh, here we go. So that's in sans serif. Sans serif good that concludes this recording sorry it's a bit longer than the rest but um you see what's been going on